Hey, I'm Sasha Andreev and this is Renew, the Green VBS. Let's go into the community activity site and see what our team did to transform the space from this into this. The community site is where kids learn about environmental issues and their faith through the lens of their local community. This is a space where they'll bring people from the community in as well as go out into the neighborhood to learn about all the different people and activities that exist in their community. Now the challenge for our decorating team is to consider that this is a smaller space than the Gather and Send space. It has to remain practical and of course, it has to remain green. We're off to a rummage sale to find some great deals for our site. Ooh, flowers! We've got grass. Nice, which are actually They're pants. They're actually pants for vegetation. And a and tool could be sky, it exactly. could be clouds. Exactly, could be perfect clouds. Right now, this totally looks like a mess, but when you're finished, you're gonna have an entire neighborhood all in this area, because this is our community. And the materials you've come up with are pretty creative. What do you have? Well, at a rummage sale, we found these great cattails. Right. So I'm gonna use this and an angel food tin cover and some of this like floral foam. Right. So I'm gonna make some bulrushes and then cover it and there's my little pond. And that's just like. an old fitted sheet with yep. some Christmas, Christmas lights, lights under it. And then these are all recycled old fake plants that yep. are would normally get dusty on top of someone's kitchen cabinets, but we're using them. Here's a trick. We're taking gardening fencing, which you could get at a hardware store, really inexpensive, and turning it into what will be a treetop for our tree in our community site, right? Yep. Yeah, just wiring it together, and then I'm gonna put a sheet over the top and pull through sections to make a puffy tree. Well, we've gathered a lot of our key pieces to make our sites, but there are still a few things missing, so I've come back to this rummage sale to get some t-shirts to make a tree canopy for our community area, and green, as you can see, is the name of the game. Our community site really needed a tree, and we wanted to do it on a budget, so this is how we came up with it. Our trunk is made out of a stuffed toy container. You can find these really inexpensively. We found this at a yard sale, but you can also use a carpet tube. You can actually use a piece of rolled up carpet. Now the tree canopy was a whole other story and we wanted it to be kid friendly, kind of kid cuddly. So t-shirts was the way to go along with gardening fencing. Now gardening fencing is really inexpensive at a hardware store. All we did was take this craft wire. This is 18 gauge, so it has some give, but it's still strong enough. And as you can see on our completed version here, we just rolled it together pretty randomly and held it together to basically create a framework. Covered it in a piece of green cloth just to give it some uh, mass. And then it's all about safety pins and it's all about t-shirts. We found these t-shirts for 25 cents at a rummage sale. But people from your community, from your church can bring theirs in. As long as they're green, if they have graphics, we just turn them inside out and then you start pinning. And it's easier to put the finishing touches once our tree is up. So you can really pin up the areas that are falling down. And don't be afraid to show that they are in fact t-shirts. That's what makes it so fun. And with one final touch, our community site is done. Now our team did a great job at representing what their community was all about in this site. Of course, the main question that we want to present is who are the people in our neighborhood and what is happening outside of our homes? And this is the area that represents that. We've put out various hats and things which were all found at garage sales to ask the question, what are the different jobs of the people in your neighborhood? Of course, this is a site where you can bring people in to talk to the kids about what's happening in the world outside their house. And moving right along, we've created several different spaces to reflect the community where we live, where we built this space. Starting off with a cityscape, it could be embellished even further by putting Christmas lights into this. Otherwise, it's just black paper on a roll that was painted with white paint. And then, of course, we have our rural landscape because that is a part of our community. And all, just simple scraps of fabric were hot glued onto a blue bed sheet to create an entire gradation of color that's tactile, fun, and represents the neighborhood. And finally, we have 
the park area, which is a part of most communities, and our t-shirt tree that was made out of t-shirts and a stuffed animal case. And we used green fuzzy pants that we were lucky to find at a rummage sale to create the grass. And we're ending with this pond, which is just a fitted uh, blue sheet that has some Christmas lights underneath it. These reeds were found at a rummage sale for about two bucks that are stuck into some foam inside an ice cream bucket. So again, this is just a representation of our community, but you can do anything you want to reflect what's happening around you and your town. Of course, these are just tips and tricks that we've used, but we want to inspire you so you can go out there and grow in faith, have fun, and of course, change the world.